So I'm here watching a movie with these fellas. They seem to be a little lazy today. But I'm actually waiting to go um, to uh, Mazatlan. I'm gonna take a bus from Culiacan to Mazatlan. It's like three hours. Um, Maribel and her boyfriend dropped me off at the bus station, so I'm just waiting for that. So right now we're on our way to the bus station, and Edgar's driving us. Maribel is back there. We're ready to go. I'm about to leave. I'm gonna go get some food and uh, just go on the Malacan and probably go downtown and go to a plaza. And then later on tonight, I might meet with a couch surfer and I might go for a few drinks. It's gonna be a, I don't know, it's gonna be a short day. It's already four. So this is the hotel I'm staying at, La Siesta, and it's right on the Malacan, which is really nice. And the boardwalk goes all the way along Mazatlan, which is cool because I got my skateboard and it's time to ride. Oh, this is their small plaza. So I'm having here a torta ahogada, which is, from what I've heard, Jalisco, but they sell it here. It's supposed to be pretty good. I walked a lot, I went to downtown and stuff, but uh, I came back here. You guys can hear me, but this is old massive land, and that over there is new massive land. So that's where all the new clubs, new bars, everything. And this is where the where this is where it started. You can even see like a high-rise hotels. So it is dark now. It's like 9 o'clock and the buses don't run after 10. That's kind of weird. And then taxis are like 80 pesos for like a mile. But either way, uh, I was planning on going out maybe to some bars, but that's pretty expensive. Right now I'm walking to the bank and this street that I just went through, she was shady as fuck. It was dark and there was no one there. Yeah, my spidey senses were like, bam, bam. But yeah, now we're gonna go to the bank, get some money, then I don't know if I'm gonna go drink all the way over there. So 
So I just came back to the hotel and this town is so empty. Like there's no one out there. I mean, it must be low season right now because there's no one out here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna grab my skateboard and just skateboard my ass over there. It's kind of far, I won't lie. It's kind of far, but I, don't th I think that once I get there, it's not even gonna be good. So I'm just gonna come back. So I'm not gonna spend like 80 bucks on a tax cab. And then 80, I mean pesos, and then 80 pesos back over here. So that's 160 pesos. I know it's not that much, but you know, for someone who's traveling, for someone who's traveling like me, yeah, it's a lot. Uh, it's called Valentino's. That's the name of the bar. I I've, I've heard about it. People told me about it. Like, oh, you should go to Valentino's, like a well-known bar, and it's right on the coast. Like, we'll see. We'll check it out. But yeah. Um, might take me like an hour to get there on the skateboard and I've been drinking so I gotta be careful so it's definitely gonna take me an hour <laughs> so I am riding on, on the skateboard and I saw these dolphins which look cool oh man still a long way to go so this is like their strip where they have like all the bars and stuff. Um, so most of the bars here are empty. I've been walking through them. They're very empty. Uh, this taxi driver, I talked to him. He told me that um, Oysters Bar is pretty good right now for a Monday. <laughs> Let's go. 